fact that we that we had a a long preseason and we didn't play many games. Uh, that's that's how it is when when you play in the Czech league. Um, and we're we're grateful that we had one game in in the league to to play one competitive game before before these these uh, two crucial games for us. Um, I feel that the boys did a really good preseason. They uh, are already at a high level. Physically, the numbers look really good in in Kavina as well. Uh, but of course, we know down here is is, is completely different. Uh, you talk about the stadium, the atmosphere. We were of course aware of it and and respect it. And and on the other hand, we also look forward to to play uh, games like these. Um, this is what the players live for: uh, big games, big moments. Um, and it, it all comes down to our performance and how we will approach it and whether the boys are able to to stick together for for 90 minutes. Bir gerçek var ki Çek Ligi böyledir. Ee, bir ara verildi ama mutluyum ki en azından bir maçta olsa e, bu Galatasaray karşılaşması öncesinde ligde oynayabildik. E, takımdan memnunum. Genel olarak iyi hazırlandık. Atmosferi zaten biliyoruz. Buradaki atmosferin bunun farkındayız. Ona göre de zaten onlar da motive ve buna hazırlar. E, i̇yi bir maç çıkaracağımızı düşünüyorum. Um, I, it, I think it's a difficult question to answer easily because um, of course, when we look at the, the quality of the opponent, quality of, of Galatasaray is, is amazing. Uh, some of the, the reporters talk about top-class players and, and stuff like this. So, of course, from that perspective, it's a really tough game. On the other hand, we, we know that we're, we'll be underdogs in, in some aspects. We're not used to that when we play in the Czech League. Um, so it's it's a different approach in, in from the mindset in, in that perspective. But of course, it's going to be a difficult game. It's uh, it's normal. It's a, it's a it's a top team in Europe. Uh, it's a Champions League team who played some good games, who is also smashing the league here in in Turkey uh, together with uh, with Fenerbahce. So it's a team who's in in a really good form uh, with good players. So of course, it's going to be difficult. But uh, as I said already, we all look forward to this game uh, for sure. We we feel that we fully deserve to be here. And we will definitely take uh, all the moments that we can. Kolay bir soru değil. Ee, kolay bir maç da olmayacak. Ee, kalitesi iyi bir takım. Alışık olmadığımız, hani Çek Ligi'nde alışık olmadığımız bir e, karşılaşma olacak bizler için. Ee, Şampiyonlar Ligi'nden gelmiş bir takım şu anda. Şampiyonlar Ligi e, mücadeleleri oynamış bir takım. Ligde de başarılı Fenerbahçe gibi bir takımla e, mücadele ediyor. Yani e, zirve konusunda. E, i̇yi formdalar. Takım iyi, fo iyi bir form tutuyor şu anda. O yüzden e, bizler için kolay olmayacak kesinlikle. Ama biz de ona göre hazırlandık. I don't know. It, it's European games are a little bit different. Um, with all due respect to the Czech League and to Slavia and to, to Pilsen for example. Then it's different quality we, we meet here. Uh, but obviously it gives us a good confidence that we can play good away games. That we uh, we know how to compete in games like this. I think... Despite the the result in in Betis, I think we played a really good away game as well. So hopefully it will give the players a good confidence, uh, a good belief in the in their performances that they are able to compete. Then we know when it's games like these, it's the small details of the game, small moments of the games that will decide maybe a win or lose or draw, uh, because the quality of the players is is so exceptional and and you don't have to give them just half an inch; they will they will take uh, advantage of it. So. We know that these games, it's it's uh, 95 minutes with uh, with maximum concentration to to pick up uh, a good result. E, Avrupa maçları çok başka, çok daha farklı, çok farklı bir kalitede. O yüzden e, yani maalesef ki bir gerçek hani Çek ligi gibi e, değil. E, bu sebeple de biliyoruz ki e, iyi mücadele etmemiz gerekiyor. 95 yani maksimum 95 dakika e, konuş, e, koşturmamız gerekecek ve konuşmamız konsantre olmamız gerekecek. Ee, takımın özgüveni de eğer bu böyle bir karşılaşmayı kazandığımızda takımın özgüveni de artacaktır. Bu da bu açıdan da bizim için, bizler için çok önemli. Ee, bu şekilde. Hmm. Well, there's, there's definitely an aspect that you play away from home and, and in this case you play against a really good team uh, with a lot of good players all over the pitch and also on the bench. And then they also got uh, amazing fans that will also push. So that's why I say it, it, it's definitely... Um, uh, an important uh, moment that you you need to take care of the game in in every aspect. Uh, one little mistake will be will be punished uh, here for sure. Um, but as I said, I I feel we're ready for it. I know what we are capable of as as a team. Uh, if everybody is is doing the maximum, then then I know we we have good possibilities to pick up the result that we want. 
but uh, but as I said, we we got big respect for for Galatasaray, of course, and uh, and we know it's it's gonna demand a top performance from the, every player, but also for um, for the whole team. Tabii ki dedi e, yeah. evdeki oynadığımız maçlarda e, daha bir rahat oluyoruz ama deplasman maçlarında e, gerçek gerçekten iyi bir takımla da karşılaşacağımız için iyi motive olmamız lazım hem fiziksel olarak hem zihinsel olarak. Ee, önemli e, taraftar grubu var. Dolayısıyla e, bunlara iyi konsantre olmamız lazım. Hem sahada hem bench'te öne, değerli oyuncuları var. E, ve gerçekten önemli bir takım. En ufak bir hatamızda biz cezalan, cezalandıracaklardır yani hani gol atarak. O yüzden herkes e, maksimumunu yaparsa takımda e, iyi bir sonuç alacağımıza inanıyorum. I only, I only remember that it's, it's always tough down here. There's a lot of good teams. I think I also played with uh, with Denmark actually against against Turkey here. Um, so that, that's a lot of quality uh, in the league, and also of course now with with Galatasaray, it's it's, it's high quality. Um, so I I got good memories, good football memories, even though not all of them were were with a positive outcome. Uh, but uh, but obviously it's 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 a good place to play football because uh, the passion here for for football is is amazing. You you feel it uh, on your way to the stadium. You definitely will feel it tomorrow also at the stadium that uh, it means a lot for for all the people coming here and and at the end of the day that's that's why I am in football that's why we're in football is to feel this this passion for for football from from the fans that's uh, that's going to be an amazing uh, atmosphere and an experience in that matter and then of course it, it comes down to 90 minutes whether it's a it's a it's a perfect experience or, or not um zor genel olarak Türkiye'de bir Türk bir takımına karşı mücadele etmek iyi takımlar hepsi de kaliteli kaliteli bir lig dolayısıyla da iyi anılarım var ama hepsi pozitif değil genel olarak iyi anılarım var zaten yarın sizlerde çıktığınızda sahaya göreceksiniz hissedeceksiniz o atmosferin ne kadar muhteşem olduğunu o yüzden güzel anılarım var burada olmak her zaman için keyifli hissettiriyor Türkiye'de bir Türk takımına karşı mücadele etmek Thanks. Yeah, yeah. There's, there's no doubt that it's it's top class players. They they proved it over uh, many many years. Uh, but but to answer your first question, then no, we we always do a, a great job. The analysts that we got, they always do the absolute best. Whether we play Kavina or we play uh, Galatasaray, it's exactly the same. There's no nothing less when it's the Czech League or it's the Czech Cup. Uh, my staff is, is amazing in every aspect. How they prepare the players and the boys is, is top quality. So it's it's exactly the same uh, in that matter. E, tabii ki zaten onlar da bunu ispatladılar yıldız oyuncu olduklarını. Bizim analizcilerimiz var zaten onlar işlerini e, her zaman en iyi şekilde yapıyorlar. E, Çek ligi olsun, Çek kupası olsun ya da e, Avrupa maçları olsun e, analizcilerimiz işini iyi yapıyor. Biz özel olarak e, bir hazırlık yapmadık. It's always important to stay calm, uh, to stay focused. Um, I think it's 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 important in every game to be honest because uh, football is about making good decisions uh, good decisions you need to have a a clear mind and a, and a calm mind in in some aspects and then of course some of it is also on adrenaline and and energy and and stuff like this uh, but of course I know also the atmosphere is amazing tomorrow um, and I think it's important that the boys they talk to each other during the game when there's a small break uh, when there's a possibility to to get a few boys together and just to to the, talk to each other, discuss things, uh, mm. take it calm in some aspects. I think it's also important because um, yeah, it's gonna be um, it's gonna be a loud experience for sure. I don't I don't know, I don't know. Right now it's 50-50. We haven't we haven't played, but uh, obviously we know that they're favourites. They they come from the Champions League group stages. Uh, we already talked about the the high quality players that they have and, and the big budget and stuff like this. So of course they're favourites. Uh, but I, I'm not a big fan of, of percentage and, and stuff like this. I'm a, I'm a football coach. Sometimes you're experts and, and journalists. It's also your job to to put a percentage on, on this. So so I could maybe ask you the question. What what do you think? Bilmiyorum dedi ilk önce. Yani yüzde 50 50 diyebilirim. Sonuçta Galatasaray'da Şampiyonlar Ligi'nden gelmiş bir takım. Kaliteli bir takım. E, yüzde olarak ifade etmeyi sevmem. E, yüzde hani senin de işin bu belki de sen bu şekilde sormak istedim. Ben sana soruyorum yüzde kaç ihtimalimiz var dedi. Ben Galatasaray'a favori görüyorum. He says he sees Galatasaray as a favorite. Okay.
I, I think so too. I think so too. But right now there's there's two teams and only one will go through. So. Aynı şekilde yeah. düşündüğünü söyledi ee, ama iki takım var biri gidecektir. Ee, kendisi de zaten açıklamasında Galatasaray'ın favori görüldüğünü söylemişti. I think there's a lot of aspects we need to take care of defensively. Um, yeah, the individual quality we already talked about it. I think they also play quite direct. Uh, Galatasaray they 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 play really fast. Uh, they got good players on the sides also, threatening in behind. Um, so for sure it's something we need to take care of. We need to be compact. Um, When we don't have the ball, whether it's it's in high pressure or, or we're in the block, then we need to make sure that we we keep it uh, tight and we keep it compact. Um, we don't need to give away a lot of backspace in in some moments also. So as I said, yeah, it, we, we're going to have a big challenge ahead of us, uh, but it's also um, uh, a good challenge where we we got a, uh, an opportunity to compete with some of the best players in um, in in Europe um, and and I know all our boys they they look forward to to this game. Eee tabii ki Galatasaray'da hızlı oynayan bir takım. Eee o sebeple top bizde değilse bizim dar tutmamız gerekecek. Eee büyük bir mücadele olacaktır bu karşılaşmada eee ve oyuncularımızın da aslında kendilerini göstermek için bir fırsat olacak. Onlar da merakla ve istekle eee yarınki karşılaşmayı bekliyorlar.